Texas-based aviation company Lyft Aircraft has just announced Hexa. It costs $500,000, but would you get in it? Hi, I'm Ashwin Droning On, and Lyft Aircraft are based in Austin in the USA, and they've just announced a product called Hexa, which is their brand new vertical takeoff aircraft. This thing's an absolute technical beast when it comes to specification, and it shows off an incredible 18 brushless motors spinning two-bladed props. They're top-mounted as well for safety, because believe it or not, you can actually get in this thing, and it's been called a personal transport device. It even has floats underneath so that it can take off and land on water, although I have to say the form factor of this looks rather strange because it's very narrow at the bottom and very wide and probably weighted at the top. So if it did land on water and it's shaped like this, I would imagine it would very easily topple over. Interestingly, underneath each of the brushless motors, there does appear to be batteries. So rather than one central battery, each motor looks like it might have its own independent power supply, which of course is very good for redundancy and failover. In fact, looking closely at those batteries, assuming they are batteries, they even look like their Tattoo brand, who are a very, very respectable brand used by many FPV quad pilots out there. It's got lots of safety features as well, including a triple redundant autopilot. So if the operator does make a mistake whilst they're flying around sat inside this thing, the autopilot's going to take over. Not only that, but it can fly on just 12 of its incredible 18 brushless motors, so if you have some failures along the way, you're not going to fall out of the sky. And just in case, it has an entire aircraft airbag system and a ballistic parachute, so pretty safe, I would say. Now, this thing is designed as a vehicle. It's not really to be flown around the sky as a drone. However, it does come with a 7-inch touchscreen tablet, so if you do want to fly it and just have a bit of fun, or even take somebody else on a joyride, then the opportunity is there. But if you are brave enough to climb inside it, then it comes with a three-axis single joystick to fly it, and that's it. So it's very likely that the altitude is potentially controlled for you. In other words, you take off and it automatically ascends to a certain allowed altitude based on airspace, and then when you want to land, it does it by itself for you. Impressively, the entire airframe is built from carbon fiber, and that means that the weight is down to just 432 pounds, which is 195 kilograms. Now, the other extraordinary thing about this is that you don't need a pilot's license to fly it, and that's because it comes under the FAA's powered ultra flight classification, which means you don't need a full pilot's license. Now, that is great, but at the same time, it's very worrying because it means that anybody can take flight in this and potentially cause havoc in the skies up there. Now the cost of it, $500,000. But that cost is very high and that will be prohibitive for many people, even though the apparent target market for this are millennials. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know any millennial that has even $1,000, let alone $500,000. But if you still want to fly one, but you haven't got the money to buy it, you can still book a flight for just under $200, which is very cheap. And they were intending to tour the world globally until the COVID pandemic struck. So they've now narrowed that tour down to US only, and you can book a flight on their website. But in the meantime, if every one of my subscribers chips in just $15, we can buy one collectively. So let's do it. Sadly, it will never happen, but we can all dream, right? Comment below with your thoughts about this crazy aircraft. Give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if your face looks like a ballistic parachute. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching.